While most of the cluster bombs of the 2006 war have been cleared by the Lebanese Mine Action Center, UNIFIL has also been actively demining for operational reasons and for the people of the South. In this episode of Discover UNIFIL, we will introduce you to just a few of UNIFIL's deminers. These men and women are here to do their duty as UNIFIL peacekeepers, but they're also risking their lives to clear people's lands of unexploded ordinances and so make southern Lebanon a safer place to live and work. You have to know that as engineers, we have many tasks to, to accomplish. And this that these uh, soldiers are doing here is one of the most dangerous. When they come out of the base in the morning, they feel that uh, they're going to face a, a different uh, uh, operation, a different activity from the other colleagues they have. They know that uh, every morning they come out of the barracks, they face danger. The name of this detector is UPEX740 and we use it to clean this area in a high dip, okay? We can clean this area just passing it once uh, for three meters or four meters in dip. This is uh, the M113 uh, armored engineer vehicle for uh, the Belgium army. This is in fact uh, one of the two vehicles uh, each squad of my platoon has. Uh, my platoon consists of three squads and they are all equipped with this kind of vehicle. It is evident that for missions such as this, we had a very long preparatory period in advance. To have seen them and trained them and to have seen them work, I know that they are applying all the security measures. It is important for me to know this and it's also reassuring. This garden is mine and I look after it consistently. I clean it and water it. When the war ended, I came back home and went to check on my garden. I was walking around when someone behind me suddenly shouted saying, be careful, there's a cluster bomb next to you. I saw it and I stood still until he showed me a safe way out to my house so that I won't be hurt by any bomb, because there were lots of them. They came and faced danger so that we could enter our land safely after they cleaned it. We consider them rescuers. They came for a humanitarian cause. That's why we consider people who perform the job as a special people. Now we are at Blue Night. This is the first manual cruising of Chambat demanding company. We are carrying out demanding work to open pass for Blue Line market from B30 to BP11. The environment of this area is complicated. There may be a lot of unexploded ordinances. I'm afraid for my guys, for what can happen to them when they are working, when they are on the ground and they are looking for cluster bomb. Everything can happen in any in every time. This is the point where a cluster falls down from uh, the tree. My operator was cutting uh, a vegetation, but we were very lucky because it doesn't explode. So we have no injuries at any times. And uh, this is good luck, chairman. It's a dog. Mm, before I came to Lebanon, my parents sent it to me. And uh, he wished that uh, good luck for me. And uh, everything uh, goes smoothly here. J'essaie vraiment de, de tout oublier. I really try to forget everything. Even if I have problems at home with my family, I forget. I am 4,000 kilometers from my parents. I forget all of that. I only think of the present moment. Once I come out of the minefield, I can think of them again and brief. And that almost twice a day, every morning. We spent here four or five months of our life. It, this is similar to uh, a small family. We are friends, but uh, they are not my, not my song. 
but everything happening in their life is my responsible. They have to be okay here, uh, try not to have problems. And of course I have to give, the, to give them all the information and all the things they need to return home safely. Sadly, eight Unifil deminers have been injured since 2006, and two men have paid the ultimate price. French warrant officer Eric Laloyou died in 2007, and Belgian warrant officer Stéphane van Petegem lost his life in 2008 in this remote area. A shepherd asked Unifil to clear eight uxos on his land. Stéphane came here, he found several uxos, and at that moment, the accident happened. Let's say two, three hundred meters at the end of that red-white tape at the left. It's about two, two, three hundred meters. It's quite hard for me to understand that uh, it takes a human life to clear an area over there. But okay, it was his job and he did his job and yeah. Was, he had bad luck that day. Until December 31, 2008, the Land Mine Action Center of the Lebanese Armed Forces, along with the UN's Mine Action Coordination Center, have been doing the majority of cluster bomb removals in southern Lebanon. As of March 2009, UNIFIL alone has cleared over 4 million and 600,000 square meters, disposing of more than 32,000 unexploded ordinances in key areas of South Lebanon. They removed many cluster bombs and saved around 20 people. If they don't continue their war, the majority of the people won't be able to access their lands, and they depend on agricultural products like olives and olive oil. The effort that Unifil soldiers deployed was more than what they were hired for. They cleaned the whole area, almost all of the area, and up till this moment they are still working. We thank them every moment because their efforts are directed towards serving people and saving humanity. We have breakfast with them every morning. We have become accustomed to them, and we thank them. Without them, we cannot enter our lands. They don't hesitate to give us everything that our lands need, everything that is useful to us, and that keeps damage away. Uh, the things that our uh, IOD team do is for the people in the area. We clean the area for children, to not to to invite them to have some problems or some accidents. It's a useful work, I think. That is something that I can be proud of because I went to Lebanon and what, what did I do there? Well, I cleared uh, uh, 32,000 square meters. I made this a safe area for everybody who will be working on that side. I am lucky to be demining in Lebanon after only one and a half years in the army. I'm, I am really lucky and I know it, and I'm proud of it. Even though soldiers are soldiers and uh, we shouldn't uh, uh, make any difference between them, uh, I can state that this, uh, uh, this kind of uh, job uh, makes them uh, probably more mature than others colleagues. Wait, wait, wait. Vincenzo. Federico. Anthony. Rafael. Miguel. C'est bon. Ludovic. Enzo. Luigi. Carlo. Bram. Turbo. Jiang Hong. Giano. Thomas. Pierre Luigi. Gerardo. Oscar. Sergio. Antonio. Julien. Yen Jim Hill.